Okay, so we're going to have a go at making this surreal building effect like this in Photoshop. You need to have a decent photo with lots of sky. Now, actually, I've claimed that in, which uh, you can do. But if you just make sure you take a decent photo with some sky above it, that will work fine. Now, the first thing to do is that we're going to need the top of that building. So I'm just going to take my zoom tool. My magnifying glass and zoom in and I'm going to select the top of that building like that and then I'm going to right click layer via copy and I'm going to come back to here I'm going to delete off that layer of the new top of the building because I don't need it right now then I'm going to make another selection just going to get my history out of the way I'm going to make another selection and I'm going to select that like that and I want to make sure that I'm getting that those windows in there so that it does repeat relatively well okay this isn't going to be perfect because I'm going to go as fast as I can for you so right click layer via copy and now I've got this little bit here as a separate layer the second bit that's really important is this mixer brush so you need to make sure that you have got dry heavy load that you've got this clicked on and that this load solid colors is not clicked then alt click select so I pressed alt to set the target like I would the clone stamp and then I clicked to set the target then my brush settings the spacing and this is important is at nine percent to get the window brush up your window brush there and it'll pop up change your spacing to nine percent and that's so that when i paint it which i'm going to show you now i don't get these spaces so it runs nice and smooth yeah so it's similar to the clone stamp this just so this isn't too messy i'm going to turn that one off turn that one on layer new layer I'm going to zoom out then I'm going to take my brush I'm going to click up shift click so I get a nice tall building look then I might have to do a bit of rotating here I'm using the arrow tools to get it in the right place so it looks about right that looks about right got a bit of a lean on it that's fine there are the odd edges that can clean up but I'm gonna clean up those up later next I'm gonna turn the top of the building on just match that back up so I just messed up by moving it that looks about right right top of the building on make sure you click onto that layer so that I can move it. Click him up the top. Again, using those arrow tools just to get that placement about right. I'm not making it perfect. Can then neaten it up afterwards if I need to. That sky needs sourcing out, so I'm going to take the magic wand, select around that, backspace, come up control D to deselect, then I'm going to pin the whole lot together. So I'm going to select all of those. And I'm going to convert to a smart object. It just puts it all in one uh, separate bit. So if I double click on that, if I click on this little icon here, it'll say, Do you want to go into that area? And, then, and I can make changes and they will remain in Photoshop. So next bit, I'm going to go edit, puppet what? And I get this mesh around it. Now you can unclick the show mesh if it all gets a bit much for you. And then I should be able to pin some pins on here. Just go back to that.
and each time I click I'm going to drop a little pin in and what a pin will do is hold it still I'm just going to delete that pin off so just to help me here I'm going to pin the bottom of this Then I'm going to pin the top. Actually, I'm going to take that pin out. You'll get used to this as you play with it. And then I can grab that one and I can simply bend the building around however I like. So I want to bend it right over like that. Now, as I say, there's some imperfections there which we could clean up. So I'm going to hit apply. Then, obviously, on here, I could clone that out if I wanted to by using the clone stamp, pressing Alt, select, and then cloning the bits that I want to clone out. So I'm going to clone that bit out. You can make this nice and neat. I can just clone that out. Obviously, I can spend some time now just perfecting those edges. But there you go. Good luck. Have fun.